Hello everyone, I'm Sharice. Thank you so much for watching my video, for clicking on this video. So, just to let you know that this is actually part two. There is a part one video, so you have to go back, click on part one and watch part one. Part one gives you the first five benefits of being a teacher and teaching in the UAE, in Dubai. So this video, I'm going to give you five more benefits. So in total, there are 10 benefits. Before I get into it, I'm going to give you two seconds to comment, like, and subscribe. Two seconds. There you go. <laughs> so as a disclaimer, I'm just going to let you know that not all schools in the UAE offer these benefits. My current school, I've, in my current school, these are the benefits that are offered, but I remember applying to other schools and they don't have these benefits. So it's up to you to do your own research, find a school that best suits you and your needs and that offers these benefits, you know, because, you know, who doesn't want the benefits? Um, but let's just get straight into it with point six. So point six is vacations. So you'd still get the same amount of vacations you would get in your home country. So you still get the summer holidays, which is usually around six to seven weeks. You still get the midterm breaks in the first half of the year, the second half of the year. You still get winter break, which is about three weeks. And then you still get spring break, which is around two and a bit weeks. And top of that, you get the national holidays. So there are national holidays within the year. There's like 15 days in total. You won't find out when these are until close to the time because it's dependent on the on the moon. So there are 15 days um, that you could possibly get as well on top of your normal holidays. So that's benefit number six. And then benefit number seven is housing allowance. So in my current school, I'm offered my accommodation, my apartment is furnished. So I didn't have to buy um, a TV, dishwasher, washing machine, all of that was provided. I don't have to actually pay for any rent or any bills. The only bill that I pay for is my internet. So I pay for my internet. And if you are in a school which is unfurnished, then they will give you a housing allowance. So then you can then go out and you can choose your own sofas and what TV you want and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, make your apartment to your home and, you know, to your desired taste. So that's benefit number seven. Benefit number eight is contract length. So most contracts are between two and three years. You can stay longer. In my current school, I am think I can think of two people that I know that I work with and they've been working in this school for between 15 to 20 years. So if you do want to stay in a school and you want to progress, then that is possible. You can stay for as long as you want. But if you do want to travel, you want to see different countries, see different schools, um, be in the different parts of the Emirates then you can because the contract lengths are only usually between two and three years So that gives you it gives you job security But then it also gives you the opportunity to travel and explore all and to see other schools as well if that if that's what you wish So number nine that was number eight So number nine is sick leave So you do get 10 days sick leave which is paid So as long as you have a sick note from a teacher from a doctor then you can get sick leave and then in my particular school we get um, early leave as well so um, once a month you can get early leave so if you do have an appointment then you can have early leave and um, and go to your appointment but I think that's probably offered in most schools around the world and then number 10 number 10 is respect for teachers in the UAE the teaching profession is respected by students by teachers by parents um, it is a valuable and a respected profession so um, those are my 10 benefits of being a teacher within the UAE. So you have to go back, watch my first video, and then this is a continuation from the first video. But as a reminder, as a side note, not all schools offer these benefits, but it's up to you to do your research, find the school that you desire, find a school that um, caters to your needs, that provides and offers these benefits. Um, these schools are definitely out there. Um, so that's going to be the end of the video and I want to say thank you for watching the video and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Thank you.